manifesting through the chakras, sacral chakra, where very often a vision may fall short of its full manifestation is as it reaches the sacral center. This is the center of flexibility and fluidity. It requires the individual to be adaptive to the realities of the world and yet hold the integrity of the vision. It requires the ability to bend and adapt and just because the vision doesn't look exactly how it is imagined, there is still the ability to continue to allow the universe to present the perfect situations in each moment and to act with integrity. Set up. Adapt. This is both your inspiration energy and your ability to stay fluid and adaptable when setbacks arise and you need to adjust. While the navel and root are about structure and specifics, this chakra is about flow. The lower three chakras are where the real work is and we cycle through them in many variations and iterations as we move through the process of actually birthing something new in our lives. When obstacles arise or disappointments occur, our navel provides the will and plan to move forward but our sacral energy provides the inspiration to continue and the fluidity to adjust. In this process, we use the crown energies we established as our guide. Adjustments that stay true to this are fine and may reverberate through all the other levels modifying our vision, communications, support needed, and plan. Practice. Initially, focus on your inspiration. This is probably closely tied to the crown chakra energies you identified, but is more the why than the what. Why do you want this change? What inspires you to birth it? In the iterative phase, this changes. Instead, focus on letting go of your original plan and adjust and adapt based on what you have learned from your setbacks or obstacles. blocks, calls to heal, rigidity, hopelessness, patterns of giving up, discouragement, joylessness, stagnation, stuckness, cycles of shame, self-blame, Feminine conditioning that says you can't have what you want. <laughs>